Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and in today's video, we will be taking a look at the kinetic typography pack that comes from AEJuice which contains over 50 different typography styles and you can use it with After Effects and Premiere Pro. So it's gonna be super fun and very interesting. So let's jump into the video and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. I'm gonna go into Windows and there you'll find the AE Pack Manager. Now, I have already installed the package. After you install the package, you can find it under Windows. But you also get some free tools like Copy Ease, Font Previewer, Quick Folders and Shifter. I have already created separate videos on these free tools. So make sure to check it out. I'll mention the link in the description below. So let's go ahead and launch the AE Juice pack manager 3 there we go you can dock it anywhere you want i'm going to keep it something like that make it a bit smaller like so and there are number of different packs that comes with the ae juice and i have created dedicated review videos of every pack so make sure you check it out you can go you, you can get a good idea about the complete pack before you make the purchase so it will be really really helpful so today we will be taking a look at the kinetic typography which is the latest addition to the ae juice family so i can just double click to open that up i can also you know pause the preview if i just want to see one preview at a particular time but i like to keep it play so that i can just scroll and see all the preview animations so there are 50 different typography posters and obviously they will be updated with time but they have some really interesting and cool looking typography animation which are very much trending these days as you can see if i just browse through them you can see there are a number of different animations and some are really really cool for example like this one this two are one of my favorite section so using them is also very simple all you have to do is create a composition so i'll keep it 1920 by 1080 25 fps 10 seconds long let's name this test hit ok and to use this all i have to do is select the animation that i want to use so for example if let's say i'll choose something like maybe this one all i have to do is just double click to apply that up and bam in just few seconds there we have our animation now you can jump into the composition and take a look at all the controllers that we have right over here and if you want to change the text which obviously you want to i can jump into the text placeholder and then i can just easily change the text i can also change the font so let's say if i want to use a babis one of my favorite font i'll use that there we go and if i go back to my main comp there we have are really cool animation and it's really nice now obviously if you want to change the text you can just double click and you know type in anything that you want so if i want to type something like dope motions i can do that and all i have to do is bring down the size so make sure your text is under that composition frame it doesn't go out of that if not the design won't look that good there we go and if i go back to my main comp bam it's updated and we are you know good to go really really cool and as you can see there are a number of different animations of so for example if i want to use this one i can just maybe delete this and double click on this boom there we go there we have added an animation now some animation a little heavy on the system so you know just just the thing that you need to keep in mind that the animation are very detailed so it, so it can be a little heavy on your system and again if you want to customize them you can go and select the controller layer and here you will find all the control settings like the color and different settings like background on and off so if you don't want any background you can you know keep it transparent and place it as an overlay onto some other project or other video then we can turn off or on the texture depending on the look you want to go for opacity for the particles so if i want to keep it really minimal and obviously again if i want to change the text i can jump into that for this one i'm just going to change the font i can set this to babis again and yeah that looks good let's align this into the center if i go back there we go pretty nice so using them is super simple and super easy and as you can see there are a number of different animation styles that you can use let's say if you have a really cool product and you want to 
showcase it using the school typography animation like a sale going on on your products you can definitely do that now this is again one of my favorite that is this one so again if you want to use this all I have to do is delete it double click to apply that up and boom there we go now this animation is a bit heavy because the project is so complex there is so many different things happening in this particular scene so if i want to jump into that and obviously again change the text this babies and i think there was a second text as well so text 2 again i'm going to select this and make this babies boom and if i go back bam there we go there we have added our text and again if i want to change the colors which obviously i want to so i'll change it and make it something like a nice uh, black color for this one for this again i don't want any tint and as you can see it's looking very very nice you can turn off the texture if you want to you can turn off the gradient as well so there are various different controllers that you can use to you know tweak the project and make it look your own and obviously if again as i told you guys if you have a product and let's see if i want to make it like sale let's say if i have a sale going on on my product i can just type in the text sale and for the second one i can type in let's say 50 percent off let's move this a bit smaller and align it into the center and now bam there we go there we have it 50 percent sale going on on my products and obviously you get the idea of how to use this and as you can see right over here there are so many different animation styles to choose from and the library is gonna keep on updating with time so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out the link will be in the description of the kinetic typography from ae juice and yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this review video of the kinetic typography from ae juice and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out